Hi folks, I've been on the uh, weekly jaunt on our bikes along the wandle with my old ageing friends <coughs> and uh, I took this photograph uh, I'll zoom in a bit, see if you can see a bit better Okay, right, there it is um, Nothing spectacular Now I'm going to paint from the photograph but I'm not going to copy the photograph We've got all these lovely trees, there's a lovely oak tree there, still in, in leaf, well, changing colour. And we've got this lovely tree here, or trees, that, that probably, uh, they might be beech, I don't know. But they've lost their leaves, but they've got all this lovely ivy climbing up the trunk, so we'll make use of that. Here we'll paint this blue with a bit of warmer colour. So... Uh, there we are, so that's it. I'll put that to one side where I can see it and and refresh it when it goes off with my little tablet. Okay, so I don't so copy. I've, what I've done here, I've wet the paper all over with a good wet of uh, fairly clean water. So I just reclip it, just stretch it a bit. We can't get any more of this paper. This is the Windsor & Newton 90 pound rough and because we told you about it you went and, and uh, stole it from Ken Bromley and he ran out and he can't get any more of it but he's come up with another one but I've still got about 60 sheets of this left and I'm just waiting for that to soak in a little bit I think the, uh, I've got it about uh, about, ooh, about 15, 20 degrees. And what I'm going to do with the, uh, well, I try to do, I've done it before, <clears throat> with the foliage, the leaves, the leaves, and maybe the ivy, I'm going to use a sponge. Just a bit of natural sponge. Well, it looks like natural sponge, it probably isn't synthetic. <clears throat> but it will do for our purposes. So I just want that to soak in a little bit more. So uh, the Wandle is, uh, is a, a Surrey chalk stream and it runs from <coughs> the other side of Croydon, which is a London borough. Was in Surrey, we're all in Surrey, but uh, it's all part of the Greater London now. And it runs, it meanders 60 miles in, into the Thames. But we go do half of it on our bike ride there and back have a cup of tea at Merton Abbey where they've still got a mill working, a water mill in the river but you don't get a lot of electricity from it because the water authorities take too much water out of the Wandle for domestic purposes but the mill itself was rated at seven horsepower but it's now down to about three, three and a half so you can see what's happened to it. Right I'm going to just put a bit of a, it was a grey day today so I'll put a little bit of uh, sienna warm. I'm not going to do any drawing, I'm going straight into a, to the painting. I never paint outdoors. I like the comfort of my studio, the warmth. But it's getting very dull now and I'm painting on daylight. But I might have to put, I'll put my light on. So that might make a bit of difference. It probably shined a bit, but I'll just zoom out. That'll do. Oh, that's reflecting a bit, isn't it? Uh, no, I'll, I'll try and do without it. The camera should make up for that. Got a cup of tea ready. Okay, now we're putting a grey sky. So I'm going to use a bit of bit of black and a bit of blue because I like that those colours. More black than blue. A touch of red, and I've always got Payne's grey there now. So I will just sweep that across. Getting weaker as we get to the horizon. A bit on the river. See that lovely, lovely paper. You would have thought Windsor and Newton would have made a lot more of it for us. That's the trouble, when we share it with you, you go and buy it, and then it all runs out. So I'm not telling you what the next one is, <coughs> even if you beg. 
Well, I'll tell you, the, the, the paints are cadmium yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, black, paints grey, either, uh, and burnt sienna, which is my very useful colour. See what the black has done? It's not, I hadn't put it on as black, I've just mixed it with a bit of, um, a tiny bit of red and a little bit of um, ultramarine, and we've got this lovely grey, it's all soaking in, and the raw sienna is just coming through, just, just warming up from behind. I'm not quite pleased with that. That will dry lighter, but I want to just let that dry. I'm going to give it a bit of a, a help now. So take your headphones off. So we have a bit of a messy effect. I'm going to use uh, my one of these script brushes. So put in a bit of blue and a bit of black in the background. Just to give a bit of, uh, I'm not going to go too high with the horizon, just a bit of a bit of background just to stretch the perspective a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a bit lower than that. Uh, the banks will enclose some of this. But I'll put some some warm tints on there. Nothing more than that really. Might put a bit of bluey green. Let's have a bit of bluey green. Fade my uh, greens are getting, my yellow is getting a bit murky from the from the black I keep mixing it with. Okay, that, that'll do, that'll do for that. So let's get a bank in now. So it's, it's fairly green, so we'll have, we'll have it green. But not, it's bright green in the uh, photograph, but I'm just going to make a, a bluer green because I want it to let's come up this bank here coming down here we'll warm that up and we've got a bank, I've, I have painted this before now there's a bit of a sort of a pathway down there that you can't see. And we've got a little bit of alizarin and a bit of burnt umber. A bit of sienna. And this is just sort of a bank that is up here. Okay, we can, where's that dry so we can texture into it? It's a bit of a bit of greenery behind there. So let's just put that in. Okay, now we'll put in a bit of that bluey mix. Right, now we've got some, still some leaves on the trees around here. And over that we'll superimpose those trees. But I haven't got any uh, leaves on them. Okay, that's all going to have some texture in it, but we'll put that in when it when it dries. Now the river, well let's just get that a bit darker there. Okay, that sort of bled a bit around there because it's a hair. These are just initial washes. Now, um, it's going a little bit busy, but I'll put some warm over that, I'll drag some dry stuff over that. So, uh, I'm going to just put this bank in, and that's quite dark green. 
and that will come this bank here so the paper's drying now and then we've got some green on top of that get more green more yellow Do this with a hay, be much quicker, but see how rough this paper is. Down there, right, a bit of burnt sienna with that, so green. Bit of blue, bit of black, got some darker colour in here, a shadowy under the trees. Want that up a bit harder than that. More black and burnt sienna. reflections in there. Okay. okay, let's get some colour in here, some darker notes, some shadowy So it's still a bit damp, so it will take some soaking in. Okay, we can strengthen all this up later, but I want to just uh, dry that so. Headphones off. Right, let's make a tea. I just want to get the shape of this tree right. So it's yellow, uh, burnt sienna, all the sort of autumn colours. Now let's get some water on there. So plenty of sienna, plenty of yellow and we'll do this. Uh, might be better if I did the other end. Squeak squeak. Bit of green in there. There's a yellowy tree here. There's maybe some darks in there. So let's get some goldeny sort of browns in there. Get a better shape on the tree. 
Now we want some darker greens. Those yellows in, for sienas. By the time I've detailed some of this, More green on on the left of that big tree. And some green in here. And now I don't want to cover too much of that air up, but when I have. of experimental green okay let's just do some more texturing in Fair. Now let's get some more colours in there. Oh, a bit of uh, green over the other side. I try to stay away from the hookers green. Not that I don't like it, but I try to use what I've got on my palette. To the eight colours. Oh, they're going to be warmer now. So warm. Let's put a bit of ready autumny colour in here. On that bank. Okay. So I'm going to go back uh, with my script brush and just paint up into into those shadows areas so the start of the uh, trunks really and shadow and this is a bit drier than this but And this will be a bit drier. So I'll just do a bit of detail around here, this dark, lovely dark bit here. And we'll put in some reflections. This, I'm going to put in a bit of bit of warm colour on here. I need a bit of water on the brush. A bit of sienna, a bit of umber. There you go. Just to, to warm up this bit here. But let that blue show through a bit. And we'll have a bit of a bluey colour across here to 
a little shadow under the trees. Okay, it's all really lost in the reflection that I should put in there. Going up here a little bit, but it's going, the, it's going around the corner anyway. Okay, right, let's get in with uh, the hake, I think. With dark for that other side. Oh dear, I'm going to pull my curtains. Well, pull my blind. Got quite a lot of work to do on that one yet. Uh, change the shape of it, maybe. Okay, so let's we'll put that in dark green here. So black, blue, cajolo. So we've got this up in this bank here. It goes up about as high as that tree is going to go on the on the left. It's a big trunk up the middle there. That's going to have some uh, some ivy on it. Get some bits of dark in there under those trees here. Some in here. So it's dry brushing nicely now. Oh, let's just let's, uh, get more or less the shape now. Uh, that colour just darken a little bit. We'll put in all this ivy going up here. And we'll put lots of little twiggies. And there's quite a lot in there. Didn't see a kingfisher today. We saw a uh, heron that was looking for fish. On our, got a photograph of it. Uh, it's quite a bit of it goes right to the top of that. So let's just do it. I don't usually use sponges, but I thought, hey, but there's quite a bit of a foreground there, so. Showing me, warm up a little bit with a bit of burnt sienna. And then let's just get that down here. Try to get your shadow, your reflections, more or less where they are. Then we'll just a nice bit wet, and then just right. I need to reflect that bank a little. There's a bit of burnt umbery stuff coming down here. Bit of green. Just using my palette green. My picture back. I'm not using the picture really. I'm just reflecting. Put a bit of a greeny sort of reflection. Just 
So I think she must be behind. Now I've got a bit of darker colour in here. Okay, got quite a bit of light reflecting in that water because of the lovely dry brush. I'll uh, just add a little bit of, see that black, I haven't used Payne's Grey but I've been just using that black but modifying it with a lot of other colours. And it is just fabulous. Okay, it's just a little bit of um, that in there. Okay, right, let's get, get working with the rigger now. So I've got this sable, little sable number three, and just a bit of black and blue. Can't put them all in, but there are lots of them. Now I can only approximate it, I'm not really copying, I'm just using it as a guide. A little bit heavy there, that one. So you need plenty of water on your brush for this. Okay, that'll do for that one. Let's uh, do something in this one here. Um, I'm not, that needs a bit more dry brush over that, so I'm going to use, i tried the sponge. It works in various places. So let's have a bit of green. And just, Shadow. Okay, that's a bit of darker autumn colour in there. Just a bit of burnt sienna and cad yellow. Put some darker ones in here. Well, you can't see the wood for the trees. Uh, uh, there. Just go back with that yellow again. A bit of water. So yes, yellow, catch yellow, and burnt sienna. And we just get the darker greens in there. Darker under the uh, K 
hand up here on the left hand side. Okay, now we're going to strengthen it up, I think. Then we'll do a bit of work on the background, a bit of work in that there and the reflections and then we're, we're done. My tea's getting cold. Alright, um, that needs to be a bit harder so I'm going to use a, I'll use my little inch hake and while well, that's drying off and just put in some darker greens around here. You will believe the factory is all down this other side there, behind all this. Now I need darker blue earth in there. Right, no more of that. Uh, this, this, uh, I need to invent something in uh, there. I've come a bit too far over with. Well, it's not that much. I mean, I'm making a picture, not copying the photograph. So we'll use the hake as a rigger. Oh, I'll just put it in another one of them. Okay, that's all right. It's just secrets. Uh, so, so a little bit of shadowy colour in there. Just invent the light. Okay, now we've gone much too light over there, that's really dried in. I'm just warming the black up with a bit of sienna. So let's just do all this. Get some of this back. It's sort of coming to life a bit now. It's about lost and found. You start the painting, it all goes well, then it all goes downhill. You lose it, but then it all comes back. I hope I'm smoking too soon, though. Just over exaggerating the tracery in here. Okay, let's get some in there just to justify those, those leaves. That's not quite dry there, so I'll water that in a minute. Right, now I want to just get some dry brush in there, so I'm going to just dry it off.
So a little bit insipid there, so let's just warm that up a little bit. Okay, so some nice darks. In here. Just the shadow in, in all this uh, riverside bramble nettles. See if I can get away with just some yellow on there. Okay. It's getting a little bit of bit of shadowy, greeny stuff in here. Little bit of stuff on the background there. Just a bit of bit of green, warm green, I think. Just over there. Just put some of that blue to show through there. detail in that when we are ready. Let's get in there with a little bit of shadow. What a paper this is. It takes any amount of battery. Right, so let's just get that in. There. And we'll have some of that shine through there. Like colours. Now that should be darker in there. So just those colours black, umber, north sienna, blue. Now let's just get that in there because that's the river there. That's a reflection of those trees. I hope it shows. Let's have just a couple of little ripples here. And I'm not going to dry brush any of that. I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to dry that off there, let's see if I can bring that back. Uh, my little hake, just some, some nice ye yellow and sienna. Cover that mistake up there. Let's 
trying to play the outline of that. So it's a bit too round. Any more I can do on here? No, I don't think I'll do much more to that. Now, here's a demo. You've got to realise that these aren't finished portraits of anything. They are demonstrations for YouTube or Patreon. Have a look at my site on Patreon. It's very cheap to, to have a look. But it's very free, actually, because there's quite a bit that's free on there. Uh, I'll sign it. Uh, I don't know if it's worth a signature, but it's will. Uh, I'm signing one. I'll put a mount on it and we'll have a look. Uh, I'm quite pleased with some of this, it, it's a bit muddy here. Uh, but, uh, uh, never mind, let's put this mount on it. Don't know, bad. So there we are, an impressionist version of the Wandle. That's what I work from. Can you see that? And that's what I've ended up with. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Or oh, we could, uh, yeah, we could do just and just one little thing. Put in some. Uh, some blue, bluish. Just a little hint of something going on up here. A little dry, quite light. I think you, you, you can be too simple, but I'm a great believer in, in less is more, but You've got to put something in. Okay, that'll do. Right, let's just see how I zoom out of that a little bit. There we are. So, my effort with the river wand, all this sort of oak tree, oak trees in here. Uh, I'd probably overcomplicated it. But, but I quite like this. That's come out quite well, this little passage here. And, and so is that. Right, okay, well, bye for now. See you soon. Thanks for watching.